Oh. That gives me confidence. He's off. Off the bike. Sideways landing. You alright? Well done. Yeah. It'll be easier if you go just a little bit faster. Well, I thought this would be an okay idea, but now I've set it up, it looks really scary. So, I'll be coming along this path here, hit this tiny little kicker, and down simply onto this slope. But now I've looked at it, it's horrible. I don't like the idea of landing like on a sideways slope, because I'll be landing like that, and it's going down like that. So I guess that's a bit of a hip, but I've never done one of them obviously because he's seen it uh, I'll have to think about this one for a little while You know what I've found over the last couple of months of trying to learn to jump? Is that it's very addictive. I always wondered why these guys that sort of jump all the time and that's what they do for a living, carry on because, you, well, you've done one jump, you've kind of done them all, but it, you, <laughs> even, you know, after a couple of months, I know that's not true. Every time I do the same jump well, right, you feel like you couldn't have done it much better. It's incredibly rewarding. So, if you've got a bit of space and a bike, make a ramp. It's good fun. I just learned to twist the bars. This is my brother's old Ridgeback that I dug out of the shed. It is the worst bike I think I've ever been on. <laughs> 